Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And we're still playing in our ring binder journal. And um, we, the last page we did was we put our little cow card here. And I wanna put something, just a little something, just to cover up the ugly, not, not that it's an ugly word, but it's not pretty. <laughs> okay, that sounds really weird. But I think this would be super cute. This is a clipping out of a magazine. And wouldn't that be cute just to put the little barn there? And I'm not going to make it a pocket or anything. I think I just want to glue it in. So, where is my little glue sheet here? I'm just going to add some glue to the back of it. And we'll just glue it in. Y'all, I've had this Uhu glue stick forever. It lasts for a long time. And I use it a lot. So I'm loving it. They're not cheap, but they're worth the money because you get a good hold and um, they last a long time. Okay, so let's put this right here. I'll make sure it's straight. Okay, and then I'm just going to rub it down. I'm hoping either this video or the next video we'll be able to finish our journal. It'd be nice. All right, and so the next page, I mean, there's really nothing that I would want to do to those pages. They're just pretty like they are. So we'll leave those. Then we have this page. I think I just want to put a sticker on this one. A pretty little sticker. Ooh, I know what I want to do on this one. I have um, this super cute little banner here. Wouldn't that be cute across the top of that page? I think that's what we'll do. Let me scoot some of this stuff out of my way. <laughs> oh, I guess I should probably put the lid back on my Uhu glue. We don't want to dry it out. Okay. So I'm just going to start with this one. And we'll just go this way. And I might not be able to use all of them. And I'm okay with that. And then we'll go this way. I mean, how stinking cute is this? And then this way. I'll do the cute little blue and white polka dotted one. Right there. And I love the green gingham plaid, check, whatever you want to call it. Of course, I'm in love with green lately anyway so and then um i think we're good with that i don't think we need any more but i do want to put something on the bottom and i think this is what i want to put on the bottom so that whoever gets it knows that i made it with lots of love okay so let's put this down here. Okay, let me get this little piece off. What is up with this sticker sheet? I guess I've hoarded it too long and it's starting to get to the point to where it's getting too, it's sticking to the back of the sheet. Okay. Okay, and so I don't think he needs anything. He's just regal and he speaks for himself. <laughs> the rooster struts, exactly. All right, so we have this beautiful, beautiful belly band. This might be one of my favorite things in this journal is this gorgeous belly band. Um, and I think I want to put this um, recipe page in it. And then I have some vintage recipes, like handwritten recipes, somewhere. Let me see if I can find them. Give me just a second. Oh, goodness. I need to use some of those. Let's see. What did I do with them? Oh, you know what? I want to put this in there because that's pretty colors to go with that. Okay, let's put that and then um, what 
what was I looking for, y'all? Oh, recipes. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> okay, I don't know that this is a recipe. Aw, what a sweet little note. Okay, we're putting this in here. It's a handwritten one. I believe I got this out of that. Uh, it, it's been a long time ago. I got a big box of uh, vintage postcards um, that I found at a yard sale. Um, uh, Jeff's mom, we go once a year. They, her um, neighborhood has this big, huge yard sale, like a whole neighborhood yard sale. And her neighborhood is a big neighborhood. And um, I had this big, huge box. I got a big, huge box of vintage postcards and notes and letters. And it was handwritten letters. And it was all between this man and his wife. And it was the sweetest. Like, I went through and read the postcards and the letters. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And he would write her. He traveled for work. And he would write her from everywhere he went. And, oh. It was just the coolest thing. And I believe that I said all of that to say I think that was in there. <laughs> okay, so my sweet friend Debbie Long made these beautiful, beautiful um, little fabric clusters for me. And so I want to use one of these on this page because I don't want to put a whole lot on this page. But how pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Let's put that on there. Okay. A little bit of glue, and I guess we'll use Fabri-Tac for this one. Isn't that so pretty? And I love the cow hand cow. <laughs> Super cute. Okay. Y'all hear the thunder? I don't know if y'all can hear the thunder, but that's why my lighting is not as good as, as normally is, so I apologize for that. Okay. Oops. That's okay. All right, I kind of want it to hang off the top of the page, but isn't that gorgeous? Mm-hmm, I love that. Thank you, Debbie. It's beautiful. Y'all, she makes, stun she does stunning work. Okay, um, this one, I like this. Save peanuts. <laughs> um, but I think I want to just put a journaling card on this one. Oh, you know what? No, I don't. I have these. I have been hoarding these and haven't used them forever. So we're using them today. Um, I played around and did some... Uh, some just little clusters with the... I love using the um, cardboard. Lord have mercy, I couldn't think of the word. So I think we'll put him here. I'm trying to decide if I want. Let me see what's in the back. Oh, it's Grandma eating her dessert. How cute is she? Um, I might say this because this needs to actually be glued to a page, and I'm not real sure I want to glue something to this page. So let's find something else. I have this really pretty um, paper clip. I think this is a paper clip. Yes, pretty pretty paper clip. Now let me see. This one's double-sided. So, yes, this is going to work out perfect. So, I'm going to slide the paper clip onto the page. And then we can do a scripture card. Let's get us a scripture card. Let's do the little girl since um, the page next to it has children. I could use my trimmer to do this, but it's buried over there. <laughs> and um, I don't have anywhere to put the stuff that's, that it's buried under, so we're just going to use our scissors. <laughs> And I need to trim off this bottom just a little. Okay. And 
then we'll ink the edge. And you know what? I think I want to use the vintage photo to ink on the edge of this one so that I can go into the inside and kind of lighten up some of that white. So we'll just kind of, I'm just going to kind of rub that across and just tone down some of that bright white. So we'll just slide that right up under there. Very pretty. I like it. And I like the blues with that blue. Okay. And then, look at that. Does that not look like Grandma? I think that goes perfect. Can y'all even see? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm moving things around. <laughs> okay. So on this page, I think I just want to leave it. Because, I mean, I'm putting so much in till I mean do y'all see how thick we are so far I mean that's a lot <laughs> this journal is absolutely stuffed so we are we're gonna leave that and then this one I've been wanting to add some really pretty frilly lacy stuff on the bottom of one of these pages and I think this is the one I'm gonna add it to so um Let's see. I want to put something over this, though, because I don't really like what that... I mean, that's not beautiful to me. So do we want to do fabric on it? Because we have this one left, too, that we've got to do something. Actually, though, this one's pretty. I'll probably leave this one because I like this one. And it's got the strawberries. It's perfect. So, um, this one, I guess we can put some fabric on. So, let's just, let me just pull it out of the book and scoop this over. And you know what? I'm going to pause the video. So, that, because y'all have seen me do this, so you don't really want to watch it again. So, I'm going to pause it, put the fabric on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the fabric on. And now we're going to, my dilemma here is, if I take this all the way over here, and I'm going to cover up the hole. So I might have to go like this. But I don't think you'll really be able to tell that much if I do. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I want this to hang out from the bottom of the journal. And I think I'm going to use hot glue to put this on with. So I'm just going to put some hot glue. And I'm going to put a pretty good bit. I stitched this fabric on onto the page. All right, let's see. So if we go right to there, then you'll barely be able to see that, right? I think we're good. Okay, and so let's put some more glue. I might need another glue stick. Okay. So we'll lay that there another glue stick real quick and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the actual page so that I know how far I need to go. I'm going to let that cool off for a second. Now here's going to be a tricky part because y'all know the dilemma I have with scissors. So we're going to go to the trusty old blue scissors and see if we can cut this because this is pretty thick. Oh, and look, it just cuts through it like butter. I should probably just buy another pair of these. They've lasted me forever and stayed sharp. And I cut paper, scissors, cardboard, burlap, everything with these scissors. <laughs> Literally everything. That'd make a cute page tab, wouldn't it? We might have to add that to a, another page somewhere. Okay, so now we have our page. And I think it's pretty just like it is. I don't want to add anything to it. And I'm going to leave it for whoever gets the journal. And then on the back side, I went ahead and I added this pretty little fabric flip. Um, I figure whoever gets the journal, they can put maybe whatever kind of paper they want to put here. 
um, to journal on or put a picture here or whatever so I just kind of left that open and then I added this pretty little lace on the top with the dangles because I just think it makes it look old and vintagey which this is old and vintagey anyway but um, anyway I just think that's gorgeous so um, let's go ahead I'm gonna take my exacto knife and I'm gonna find my holes back here because we're gonna have to kind of punch through with our exacto knife to make to open up our fabric for our holes um, for our ring binders okay so let's do that one and then we'll do that one and if you have a good sharp exacto knife this is a fairly easy process never ever use a dull exacto knife you will stab yourself and cut yourself every time always keep a sharp exacto <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me grab the journal. Oh my goodness. She's getting so full. Okay. getting so full I'm afraid to open the rings now <laughs> okay that one that one and that one there we go and close her up okay see what happens when I start getting to the back of the journal and <laughs> it starts getting so full okay all right, I need to, let me just do this so that I know, because I think my camera got moved. And now I can kind of know where to, where to sit it to make sure y'all can see. Okay, so this is our page, and I love how this, see you can't even hardly, you can't even hardly tell. I mean, that's kind of very unnoticeable, and I like it, and I like the way that that's going to hang out from the bottom of the book. Can you see it down there? Really pretty. Okay. All right, and then we have this beautiful fabric flip. Okay, we're not gonna do anything with that page. Now here's where I have to start kind of slowing down on putting things in the journal because it's getting so thick um, and bulky until, um, you know, I just have to kind of slow down on putting the goodies in. So we're gonna leave those two pages. Look how stinking cute, I love this page this is from um, I don't think it's a child craft book maybe it is a child yeah I think this is a child craft book but I love it no it's um my book house that's what this one is it's a my book house page all right so we'll leave that I love this old ledger so we're gonna leave that and we're gonna, I love the wallpaper. Isn't that a pretty wallpaper? Thank you, Rhonda. And I love that. This one we're gonna leave. Actually, I think I would like to put something. Maybe we'll, you know what? Let's put this on here. Cause it looks cute with that wallpaper. So this is the perfect spot to put this. So let's just add it. I'm gonna use my bigger Allen's because with this being cardboard, it might need a little bit more glue. Okay. So we're going to add this here. We're going to give it just a second to dry. And then... I want to find uh, something pretty. I don't think I want to put that simply because we already have a chicken on there. So let's see. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're going to use that in this book somewhere. 
although this is super cute okay I think we have to put that in there <laughs> so that's a blue ribbon poultry and this is plain or fancy chicken look at the chickens dancing oh my goodness those have to go in there okay <laughs> I love that all right let's move on I don't know where we're at on our time I'll get up and look in just a second okay so we're gonna leave that we're gonna leave this page like it is because I love it with the strawberries this is our flipbook page remember that we did with our barn door and this is a pocket here oh we need to put something in that pocket okay let's find something pretty to go in that pocket let me find a tag where did I put my tags? They're in a bag laying around here somewhere. <laughs> um, oh, here they are. Okay. Let's see what do we have in here? I think Ooh, I love this my sweet friend shared this with me Isn't that pretty the way she embossed it so we're gonna put that in there because that just looks so pretty with those flowers and then we'll add a tag um, let's see Ooh, let's do this one that's pretty that'll be pretty in there okay so I just want to put a topper on that tag. Let's see. I have let's put some feedback fabric for a topper on that. like that. Okay, let's use this piece. Okay. So I'm just going to snip right there and see if this will tear. Oh yes, it will tear. Oh, I love the feel of feed sack fabric. It feels so good. Okay. I'm just going to pull a few of these strings. pretty okay and I'm just going to I think I'm just gonna staple uh, where's my stapler here we go okay so we'll staple it right in the center and then I think I want to put a little doily on here up the whole thing. I wonder if I cut one of these in half. Let's just cut one in half and see. Yep. I like that. Okay. Should I do it this way? Or this way? I think I like it that way. Okay. I love that fabric. Okay, and then I want to round the corners of the tag. 
I always forget to ink it before I put all the goodies on it, but that's okay. We're just going to ink it just to get rid of any white areas that might be sneaking around. There we go. Okay. Very pretty. I like that. Okay. So we're good to go with that. Do we have any pockets in here? Let's look and see. I think I did put a pocket in here, didn't I? Oh, I did. This cute, cute little pocket down here. We need a little something down here in this cute little pocket. And I found, just a minute ago, I found the cutest little tag that had a cow on it. Let me go back and see if I can find it. Let's see. There. Isn't that cute? Let's put her in there. And maybe even this one. What do you think about that one? Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, let's put those in there. Okay. I guess I should probably look at my time. Done. Let me look at the time on my video. Yeah. You know what? As the last part of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do when this happens. Do y'all see this? My paper broke out. It broke out. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Shake the dust off. We're going to scoot our journal out of the way. And we're going to put some washi tape there. Actually, we're not going to put washi tape. Yep, we're going to put this piece. Because why not? Alright, so I'm going to cut this piece out. need this piece too. We might need to have a piece to put on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. No I'm not because I have another one cut out. Okay so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to line this sheet with this on the edge. So you know what? I want something a little stronger than, than the wet glue. I mean the, yeah, you know what I mean. So we're going to put wet glue on it. A lot of times I don't use the wet glue on um, like thinner paper like this. And this is a vintage graph paper. Um, but I put the wet glue on it this time because I'm going to put a piece of cardstock on the back of this piece as well so it's not going to matter if it shows through the paper all right and so we're just going to put this right here now you could you could line this with washi tape but i've already shown you to do that how to do that or you know that i do that uh, not that you didn't know how to do that <laughs> all right so we'll put that right there and then we're going to flip it over i'm going to trim this off And then, where's my other piece? Here we go. And then I'm gonna put this one on this side. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put some glue on it. And then we can just repunch our holes and we have a lot more sturdy hold in our holes that we punch because we have two pieces of cardstock instead of just that one little thin piece of paper. Okay. Let me 
piece of them here. Like that. And it doesn't matter if it goes all the way to the edge. I'm not, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. I don't care if it's, if a little bit of the other paper shows through. I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me in the least. Alright, and then we're just going to trim this one down. Okay. And then, because this is so thick, I can't see where to punch my holes. So, normally I make myself a template, but with this one I haven't. Where is my little, uh-oh, here it is. Okay, thought I lost my stopper. Gotta have that. Put my stopper in there. So we're just gonna take a page out of the journal. So very carefully take a page out of the journal because we're so full now till we are overstuffed. Oh, we're almost finished, y'all. We are almost there, okay. And I didn't put nearly the things in here that I wanted to put in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold that in place right there and pull this out. And then I'm going to close this back and pray to the good Lord that I don't pinch my fingers. There we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're just going to line it up here and repunch our holes. So I guess when we come back, we'll finish this last few pages, and then we'll work on the inside covers and the spine of the book, and then we'll be done. Yay. All right, so I'm going to put these back in the journal. I'm going to go ahead and end the video for now, and when we come back, hopefully, um, hopefully maybe in one or two videos, we can get it finished up. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And you guys, if there's a supply that you need, if you would go to one of my videos and click on the link um, to Amazon that's in there, if there's something in there that you need, it does help me out a little. And at this point in time, I know we're all trying to make as much money as we can, so every little bit helps. So if you need something, go see what's on the list. If there's something on the list, click on that link. I get a very small portion, but it does help. So anyways, thank y'all so much. I hope you have a great day. Big hugs.